Today is the debut of my children's literature review series here on my YouTube channel, The Bees Business. Through this series, I hope to help fellow educators and parents discover titles in children's literature that are meaningful, educational, inspirational, or a combination of the three. As I continue to add content to this series, I will be consistent in the steps that I take to review these texts. Each of my reviews will start off with a few sentences that describe the book, or books in this case. Next, I'll go over what I particularly like about the book. I'll also discuss any dislikes that I have about the book and anything that I feel could be changed to improve it. I'll then summarize my thoughts on the book. Lastly, I'll rate the book on a 1 to 10 scale, with 1 being the lowest score and 10 being the highest. And on occasion, I will include my own children's ratings after we read the story together. Today I am reviewing for you two titles in children's literacy, Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History, and Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. Both books are written and illustrated by Vashti Harrison. The purpose of these texts is to highlight some well-known and some not so well-known exceptional men and women in black history. I found the introduction of this text, Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, to be very helpful in learning a lot about how this story came to be, as well as how the Little Leaders story also came to be. In the introduction, Vashti shares, This book grew out of a project I began during Black History Month. It started as a drawing challenge to myself to illustrate one African-American woman from history every day for the month of February and post the finished image to social media with a brief summary of the woman's accomplishments. The author shared that she included women in black history that are easily recognizable and some that are not as easily recognizable. And I really appreciate that she's highlighting those names that most of us have heard of, but also introducing us to many names that we haven't heard of. Another thing that Vashti explained about this book is that she intentionally made the faces of these characters interchangeable because her goal is that the reader could see themselves in any one of the characters. Vashti Harrison is an artist and filmmaker with a passion for storytelling. She earned her MFA in film slash video from California Institute of the Arts, where she snuck into animation and illustration classes to learn from Disney and DreamWorks legends. There, she rekindled a love for drawing and painting. Now, she uses her love of both film and animation to craft beautiful stories for children. I appreciate the consistency in the layout of these texts. What I mean by that is, when you open up a two-page spread, you'll always find on the left-hand side the information about the person, and on the right-hand side a general picture of the person. Again, remembering that Vashti intentionally made their faces interchangeable, and you'll notice that as you're going through the pages of the book, that the different characters look very similar to one another, and again, that is intentional because Vashti wants us to feel like we could be any one of these people. My favorite things about these texts would be the consistency of the layout of the pages, and also the fact that Vashti chose to include common names that most of us are familiar with, as well as many that we may never have heard of. I really love that she is exposing us to some new information that's not as public or well-known. An additional thing that I appreciate about both of these texts is that in the back of the book you will find a section of additional leaders. So more little legends, it says, and then we have a series of other little legends and just a tiny bit of information about them, but I love that she's finding a way to pack in even more information and expose us to even more different people who have been inspirational. The layout of this does look slightly different in the Little Leaders book and we have all of the additional little leaders on one page and there's just a very brief blurb about them. So in the Little Legends book we get a little bit more information about each of those additional people and they take up a couple of pages. And lastly, the contents page of both of these texts is very comprehensive and it is easy for me to figure out exactly which people are included in this text and on what pages I could find information about them. I know I said lastly, but there is one more thing that I really enjoy about these texts. 
in the very back, Vashti has included a draw your own little legends section, which I think is an adorable way to get her readers involved in this book. My only very minimal critique of these two texts is that I would love to see that additional section of people in the little leaders mimic the little legends where we get a little bit more information about them. I will say this text has a copyright of 2017, this one has a copyright of 2019, so it looks like that's a change Vashti has already acknowledged that is a benefit, and I would anticipate if we see any future texts like, like this that she will structure them more like the little legends version versus the little leaders. And truthfully, that is my only critique. Overall, I am very pleased with these texts. I was so pleased with them that I opted to purchase them and permanently add them to our collection here at home. In an effort to provide a variety of reviews in this series, I do intend to utilize local libraries and check out many books that way versus always purchasing them. I first came across these texts when I was shopping at Target and I fell in love with them quickly there. I did observe their price at the time and I always check Amazon to see if the prices are any less there and they were significantly less on Amazon. I will have them linked in the description box of this video if these are texts that you would like to add to either your classroom library or your library at home for your own children. And they were about half the price on Amazon, so I was able to get both of them for the price that I would have spent on a single one at Target. In closing, I am very impressed with these texts. I think that they are a wonderful addition to children's literature, and I am thankful that I came across them and have been able to add them to our collection here at home. I have plans to read them regularly with my own children because, of course, there are quite a few stories in here of both women and men in black history, and therefore, I think we will enjoy them for quite some time. I also would love to share them in my classroom with my own students, especially as we are approaching Black History Month. I am rating both of these texts a 10 out of 10. While this text did come out a few years prior to this one, I'm really thankful to Vashti that we now have both bold women and exceptional men in black history so that we can celebrate all people in black history regardless of gender and we can show off role models of each gender for our children and our students. I feel that these texts are going to offer a lot of knowledge to our students and expose them to not only names that they've heard, but also brand new people that maybe they've never heard of. I feel that Vashti put a lot of thought and effort into how she constructed these texts, from the layout to the interchangeable faces of each of the characters that she's drawn. I appreciate both of these texts. I'm quite thankful to have added them to our permanent collection here at home, and I look forward to sharing them with my children and my students. Thank you so much for joining me on my first ever children's literature review. I hope that you have found this beneficial. I would love any and all feedback you have. Would you like to see the layout of these reviews different at all? What did you particularly like so I know to continue to do it the same way? And any other comments you may have. I'm looking forward to doing additional children's literature reviews for you, so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any additions to this series.
again for joining me. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.